Okay, Super Troy and I are going to do some fly camping up the mountains. Let's see if we can't cram it in here. It fits no problemo. Okay. Go ahead and fire it up and I'll set your wing up for you. So we got a bit of a crosswind here. Super Troy, showing you how to stand up on a flat top. Piece of kick. You're already partially off the ground. There we go. Super Troy. Hoorah. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my 15 year old. Totally rocks it. I love my son. <sighs> okay, I'm planning on landing on top of a mountain here, so I am taking the small dominator. And since Troy's lighter than me, I put him on an extra small, so we're a similar speed. There we go. And down the hill. Woohoo! <laughs> Ditch launch, baby. Fun stuff. No big deal. Hope we can get up there before it gets too catabatic on us. Catabatic means in the evenings you get cold air that starts flowing down the mountain, which if you're trying to fly up a mountain, can be quite the adventure because then you end up getting stuck trying to climb through the sinking air. direction. I feel the wind is actually going to come from the mountain a little bit here. So we're going to actually climb up through some rotor. But we're just going to feel along. Nice thing with a paramotor is it's so slow you don't just fly into something. Bam! All of a sudden it's too late. You can kind of feel your way along. So if you start flying into something, it starts getting worse and worse and worse, and you feel it get really crazy, well, we could turn the dime and just flip a 180. And we could do a U-turn at full speed and about the size that a typical pickup truck does a U-turn. So it's really quite simple for us to just flip a 180 instantly at any time. So, okay, now I'm gonna pull some trims down now that I'm kind of to the mountain. I always check my reserve once I launch. Make sure you didn't shake the handle loose or shake any Velcro loose or pins loose when you're running. So you kind of press that down. But one tip for the day is move your hand away from it slowly. So if I press my hand down on the reserve, I then slowly move my hand away just to make sure it doesn't snag. If you get yourself in the habit of pulling your hand away quickly and your glove or Velcro snags or something on your hand, that could be kind of ugly and cause you to pull your reserve. So anytime you check your reserve, make sure you pull your hand away slowly just to make sure you get a clean separation from your reserve. Bingo, bingo, boy. There we go, we kind of climbed above the turbulence. So we must be above the rotor now by a little bit. But, as 
definitely not very strong wind. Not too concerning, plus it's evening, so we should have any activity dissipating. Also, it's a little cooler since it's October. So I'm not really worried about any turbulence. Not to mention we're flying Dominators. <laughs> the safest, highest performance glider on the market. Despite what liars say, liars will tell any lie they can make up. But right here, right now, I offer anyone $5,000 if they can produce a glider for me that will legitimately beat the Dominator. I challenge anyone out there. Let's see it. Cool little spot over here. This would be a neat spot. Always want to fly camp here. I've never done it yet in this particular spot. So far, so good. Spot. I guess we can fly for a bit before we land. Now I fly camped on that mountain with my brother. I fly camped on that mountain over there. The, uh, and I think of it fly camping on that mountain top over there. I'll probably come back to this one unless I see something else cool over here. Get up and get some cool fall color pictures. Pretty cool spot here. Two different direction of wind. Got this wind coming that way and that wind coming the other way. Pretty cool spot. So now the wind is coming from that way. That's why it's getting a little bumpy with the wind coming over these mountains. Funky. Fly camping with my boy! So cool! Drop in a little bit. See what it's like a little lower. Cool little spot right there. I usually like an area where I've got some sheltered area for the tent. Not really any shelter here. Another area we can kind of walk back in under the trees a bit. Get some shelter for the tent. Plus I like the view. Maybe I'll go back to that other area. Got 
Got a little wind. So cool! <laughs> Fly camping with my son! Whoa, well, there's a buck and a doe. coming over the mountain range. Definitely getting some rotor over the hill. It's getting a little stronger. Uh, the bet Troy is starting to get cold. I'm definitely getting a little chilly. We just wore light gloves. Neat little spot over there. Didn't see any fire pit. There's a fire pit over here. Launching area though. trees along the edge. Not that you need anything more than just a little space. But we want to roast some marshmallows. So we can make our own fire pit. I just like this spot over here. I always wanted to fly camp this here. Fit there. Flying through his rotor.
And <laughs> Bam. Super Troy bring it in. Pow, nice landing. That's my boy. Perfection. Ha ha ha. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful kind of popped him up. Bam, just float her down anyway. No problemo. Super skills, got the right gear. So fun. Get to hang out with my son. Do some fly camping. <laughs> That is so neat. Just pack up the lightweight camping gear, take off, and go land wherever the heck you want. Right next to a, looks like there was a fire pit here one time. And we can even bring our gear back here, closer to the trees. <laughs> cool spot, huh? Well, I like that, but I figured we could put the tent closer to the trees in case the wind picked up. Oh, yeah, We'd yeah. have a little protection from the wind and stuff. Plus, we got a fire pit. Oh, there's a fire pit? Yeah, there's no fire pit over there, but here's an old fire pit. Oh, there is. Okay, I was going to say, because the other point over there, I saw a fire pit. I didn't see a fire pit over here, though. Yeah, right here. See, I was looking around for a fire pit okay. so we didn't have to build one. Boo yeah! Woo! <laughs> so I have to just. Looks like it hasn't been used in forever. Yeah. There we go. Build it back out here. Well, the. Uh, you want to set up the tent or do you want to build the fire? I think I can build the fire. Do you want to set up the tent? Okay, I'll set up the tent. Okay. Here, let me get you the bic. This will be a cool spot to get a sundown photo, but we are kind of like... I didn't bring the camera, but... Uh, yeah, I can get it on my phone that I have. Uh, that's okay. So. Is it rolling? Pow! <laughs> mine isn't. You forgot to turn mine on. Yep, I <laughs> That was like, don't! I forgot to turn it on, but that's okay because we'll save your battery and uh, we could use yours for tomorrow. Just turn it on. If we have any trouble with mine, but Woo! mine's on. Here we go. Yeah. We could set it back a ways. And watch the action. Nice landing. Thanks. You got popped up, but you just floated yeah, it right I, in. Yeah, that was I, perfect. I popped up, and I was like, oh, shoot. But that was good. Booyah. Look at his view. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Now you're talking. Flip it over. Yeah. Then throw everything on. Ta boom. You know how to make fire. Got it. Oh, camera's in the smoke. Look at that view. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up my air mat. Get more firewood, back. Oh, you're doing good.
Nice job, fire starter. I love this tent. One pound tent. Ooh, hey, don't let that fire out of your tension. Yeah. Okay. Fits no problemo. The air mats fit perfectly side by side. Ha 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 ha! Got our cool tent, got our campfire going, got our trusty flat tops. Oh, another fire changed direction. Ooh, I want a marshmallow. No, 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 no that's fine. Oh, that's you yours? That one, yeah. All right. Mmm. 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 Hard. Hit the spot after a day of flying in the mountains. <laughs> Dude, we are roasting marshmallows on top of a mountain well, while fly camping. A marshmallow. <laughs> hey, where's my marshmallow? <laughs> I decided to make a giant clump of marshmallows. You smashed them all together? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we get one giant marshmallow. I want half. Don't be eating my marshmallow. I'm gonna eat all your marshmallow. Dude. That. Now check that out. Hanging out with my boy. Got us a nice campfire going. And look at the view. We are up on the mountain with the whole lake and everything we can see for like 80 miles. Crazy. What do you think? How'd you like the bumps on the way up? Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm good. You lit it on fire. Uh, I'll, t I'll take the other side. <laughs> I'll light that side on fire too, don't worry. Hey, whoa, ah! you lit it on what? fire. It's a burning marshmallow. There we go. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to golden brown them, son. See, it's golden black. Golden black. Okay, <laughs> let me try the golden brown. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, it's not too bad. It's kind of hard in the middle. Can't be that. Boo yeah. Hey! <laughs> don't eat all my marshmallow. Oh crap. Mm hmm. Did you get it? Mm hmm. Go. Hey! Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. so How do you always get sticky eating marshmallows? You never want to put your fingers in it. Mm. <laughs> we even got a moon. Sweet. I'm gonna go the back. All right. Well, hey, do you want to have our spaghetti? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Now that we've had our marshmallows, uh, maybe bring one water bottle. Should make two, no problem. I like all the lights over there in there. It's kind of cool how it's like in a line. Oh yeah, with all the cars in a line. Yeah. Boo yeah. Let's check this one. All right, I'm gonna shut the video off. We got some, now we gotta eat our food. Are you eating it already? Uh-huh. Mm. How is it? Good. Already? Mm -hmm. You didn't even give it time to like marinate. I like it mine crunchy. Crunchy! Okay. That's good. All right, signing off to eat our yummies.
Sunrise in the mountains. Holy cow. Sun's up. Get that. Now look at that sunrise and view. Wow. Good morning, Troy. One of my sleeves I turned inside out somehow. Did you sleep okay? Yeah, I was fine. I had to take off my jacket and put it at my feet because uh, my feet were a little cold. But other than that, I was fine. Oh, you put your jacket around your feet? Yeah. <laughs> I did the same thing. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, exactly the same thing. That's funny. Yeah, and it worked really well. It did. Oh, it fixed the problem. Yeah, my feet were not cold at all. That's interesting. My feet were a little cold. Even with those little boots? That's a 10 degree bag. I got the little goose down booties. Well, that's what always happens. when, Even with these bags, my feet are always like really cold. That's funny. It's annoying, yeah. We need like those hand warmers and we need to put them like in our like socks or something. Yeah. It's a 10 degree bag and it definitely didn't get below 30. It probably got close to 30s. Booyah! That worked good. Yeah. Tit. I kind of got squeezed against the corner in the morning because of the morning dew. My sleeping bag got a little wet, a little moist because of the morning. A dew. little damp on the outside. Yeah. Yep. I got to pee. Booyah! Dude, these are the coolest jackets or what? Totallyawesome.com. <laughs> The world's lightest down jacket. Wait, you sell these on our website? You didn't know that? I didn't know that. No. Yeah. These are awesome, I man. I had no clue you sold these on our website. Yeah, they're they, really they're, nice. yeah. they come from Germany. Especially for your feet. Yeah. The uh, And they work awesome as foot warmers. <laughs> That's too funny. Both of us took them off or took them out of our bags at night and stuck them down around our feet yeah. to keep our feet warm. Which is ridiculous because you got a 30 degree bag and I have a 10 degree bag. How the heck did our feet still get cold? Anytime I sleep in those bags, my feet get cold. That's uh, crazy. We need like feet warmers. Something. Yeah. But other than that, well, check this out. Great. Looks like we got wind and it's coming the right direction. Could be a little. Up and down in the morning. I was a little worried about the wind direction. Booyah. But that's coming straight in. We should probably pack up quick and try and use it while we got it. There's quite a bit of wind. And that's why we bring smalls. <laughs> so now you know why we flew a small and an extra small. Because if you get wind in the morning, you still want to have a glider basically as fast as you can still easily launch from the top of a mountain. And easily land if you had no wind. Too cool, what a morning. <laughs> Let's go flying. We gotta make it to church. All right. It's pretty slick we can fit all of this gear into just these comfort bar bags. So I got my air mattress and a 10 degree down bag <laughs> and stuff in these little bags. And then we have one side bag and that's it. Pretty slick. When you get the best gear, it packs down really small. These are also available on totallyawesome.com. Booyah, or through U-TurnUSA.com. You just call us, we'll make sure you get all the right stuff for what you're doing. We know exactly how to do it. We've been doing it for a long time. Okay, now I gotta get my air mattress. Oh, we gotta get the... Yeah. Oh, is your camera dead? 
and that. Uh, yeah, because I use the battery for my phone. <laughs> Titanium tent stakes, because every tiny fraction of an ounce matters. The one pound tent that fits two air mats perfectly side by side. Can't beat that. The whole tent, poles, stake, everything is one single pound. And it's tiny, that big. And there we go. Perfect. Super Troy! <laughs> Boo yeah! Hoorah! We're recording? Dude, Whoa. yeah! <laughs> Sweet! That was awesome! That was a fun uh, landing. Yeah. I'm surprised how well this launch site actually worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfect, huh? Yeah. That was awesome! High five, Nugget Ball! Booyah! I love my boy! Oh, you too. That's my son. There we are. That's my super kid. Now the perfect landing. <laughs> And a little funky slant side hill. That was kind of cool. And that's where we flew from. Camp clear up at the top of that mountain. That was awesome. Fly camping. <laughs> it's so cool to be able to just pack up your camping gear and just shoot off and go, hey, let's go fly camping and then just take off and just go do it. That is just slick. Literally what we did. Booyah. And we made it home in time for church. Can't beat that. Right on time. Let's get going. 